Never Shy Gabby <clears throat> faces the wedding that wasn't. It's the day after the day before in Family Affairs. So how long are we expected to hang around here then? Miles, calm down. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. I haven't checked out of the hotel yet. I was planning to be halfway home by now. After all, her ladyship should be on her honeymoon. I can't go without talking to her properly. I thought he did all that yesterday. God only knows what else you've got to say. Why don't you just go? I can always get a train later. Well, the idea certainly appeals. The sooner I'm away from this particular disaster, the better. Miles, just go. Well, if you're sure, I'll go back to the hotel, pick up my bags, pay the bill, and be on my way. Good idea. And Miles, if you could take my bags, it'll save me carrying them halfway across London. I'll, um, see you later then. What time will you be back? When I get there! Mum, I thought you'd gone. Not yet. Coffee's on. What would you like to eat? You can't tell me you're not hungry this morning. Okay, thanks, Pooh. Yeah, yeah, of course I will if I hear anything. <sighs> Still no word from Josh. You don't seem too bothered. To be honest, Dave, I've got more important things to think about. Besides, he's old enough to look after himself. Well, I promise you one thing. What? He won't have been awake half the night with heartburn brought on by an unwanted pregnancy. Oof. I'm going back to bed. Yeah, anything to get out of cooking Sunday lunch. I feel dreadful. Mm. Do you want a cup of tea? I think you'd better call a doctor. I mean it, Dave. Do you want coffee? Yeah, it's hard. Fresh air. That's what you both need. You're joking. Let's put it another way. Things are just a little overcrowded here at the moment. I think she wants some time with Gabby. Not now. Please. Come on, mate. I'll buy you breakfast somewhere. Doesn't look like we've got much choice, do we? And don't hurry back. Bye, Gabby. Bye, Gabs. I'm sorry I've put you through all this, Mum. It's all right, darling. What's done is done. You can't change it. Do you have any regrets? Any at all? I regret hurting Adam. Yes, of course. All the same, I'm proud of you. What's that to be proud of? My daughter being the most courageous person I know. What you did took courage. If more people could bring themselves to do the same, there wouldn't be nearly so many miserable marriages. Thanks. I mean it. I just wish I'd had half as much nerve at your age. I've let so many people down. No, you haven't. There's Adam, for one. I know he's heartbroken, but... And then there's Dad. Oh, don't worry about him. You're not a little girl anymore. If yesterday made me realize anything, is that only you can really know what's going to make you happy. And if you find it, or him, then you grab it with both hands and you don't let it go, whatever anybody else says. What about you? You and Dad, will you be all right? We'll be fine. I love him and he loves me. And we've got you. All we want is for you to be happy. Really happy. 
Here we go. Wow, well, aren't you looking smart? Well, thank you. Actually, I was talking about the dog. Not that you're not looking good, it's just he's a little more noticeable. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I think I should quit while you're ahead. <laughs> idea. Seems a bit bright, though, Sadie. Did he come with the government health warning? <laughs> oh, Ratty loves it. And as long as he's happy, then that's all that matters, isn't it, my darling? Oh, well, you're certainly not going to lose him on a dark night. Mm. Maybe I should stock up with sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> so what are you doing? Shopping, what's it look like? Well, it's Sunday, mate. So? So you buy yourself a paper? Put your feet up and get someone else to do it for you. But if you want to play the housewife, Dave, that's fine. I mean, maybe that's your true vocation in life. I haven't got much choice. I'll have a cat lying in bed. Well, no changes there, then. The doctor's with her. Well, why didn't you say? What's the matter with her? Well, that's why the doctor's with her. Well, is the baby all right? I think so. Right, well, I've got a few things to sort out, and uh, I'll be around later, OK? Yeah, fine, 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 fine. Do you want a top up? Ah, why not? Nothing else to do, not until Clive reports back anyway. Where was he gone? He's gone to see if the coast is clear. Gabby's mum wanted us to make ourselves scarce so they could have a chat. Well, is she going to read Gabby the right act, is she? I don't know. At least she escaped the wrath of her dad. He was gone even before I was awake. Well, you can stay here as long as you like. As long as you keep my profits up, I'm not complaining. She should come in more often. That's a bit of a busman's holiday for me. How's that? Now, with all these kids about, I might as well be at school. I'm oh, glad they're not. They're my best customers. Good cool, lucky I've let you back in here. What is your problem? You know. Look, don't give me grief. It's your sister you should be talking to. Hope you're going to behave. Look, shut up and go and log on somewhere else. So, where have you been hiding? Nowhere. Just for me, you're avoiding then. And why would I want to avoid a slag like you? I know you don't mean that. Don't I? No, you're just jealous, that's all. <laughs> of what exactly? Me and Benji. Is that what you think? Look, Sarah, as far as I'm concerned, he's welcome to you. That is, if he still wants you, of course. They're going to go for a walk. Oh, so the coast will be clear. Yeah. Oh, I hope Gabby's OK. Well, she seems OK. Yeah, I could do with a bacon butty. Oh, me too. Sorry, mate, don't do them on Sundays. Sundays? Who needs them? You know, I could do with some fun. You offering? Well, get out of it, will you? <laughs> now, what'd you say to a party, you, me and Gabs? To get Gabby out of herself a bit? Yeah. Right, I'm going to go and feed my little one because you're very hungry, aren't you, darling? Bye-bye. <laughs> I don't know if you feel the more sorry for her or the dog. Yeah, forget about that. I want to hear about yesterday. Yesterday? Oh, the wedding that never was. From what Andrew said, it was like something out of a bestseller. Oh, there's not a lot to tell, really. Oh, come on. That's what the corner shop's for, isn't it? Local gossip. Well, there we all were at this reception, waiting for the See you later. Yeah, OK. Hiya. Hey. Where are you going? Just out. Come with you. Yeah, if you want. Where are we going? Just out. What's the matter with you? Oh, don't tell me. Arlo's been staring it. No, he's been staring me straight on a few things. What's he said? Nothing I shouldn't have worked out for myself. You were playing us against each other, weren't you? No, I wasn't. How can you say that after what we did? Then why did you kiss me like that in front of Arlo? Because... Oh, it doesn't matter now, anyway. Wait. It's not all wait. I'm sorry. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I thought maybe we could um, meet up. Mm. You don't want to? Yeah, OK. Cool. Oh, taxi's here. Must have been out longer than we thought. It's for me. Can you wait? I won't be a minute. So what happens now? Well, it's up to you. For whatever you decide, it'll be the right thing. I hope so. I know so. You've got a good head on your shoulders, in spite of what you might think. Thanks. What for? Everything. But especially for being so honest and supportive.
Look after yourself, sweetheart. I will. You got money for the fare? That's one thing I'm not short of. Some pancreas, please. Hey, hang on a minute. What do you want? I've got a train to catch. I want to check on the sale of the flat. But there won't be a sale now, will there? Oh, we've got a deal. What would you have me do exactly? Throw my own daughter out on the street? Bye, darling. OK. Hey, you can't pull out of it! They win some, they lose some. But after everyone has a few drinks, it livened up a bit. Just sorry I missed it all. The only thing you missed was the look on Gabby's dad's face. No news on Josh, then? No, nothing for certain. But I expect you've heard what everybody's saying. It's just gossip, isn't it? Yeah, as if I hadn't enough to worry about, trying to keep this place open. Short hand are you? Well, with Josh gone, I haven't stopped. I could really do with some help. Oh, gosh. Where are you, Josh? Gosh, where are you? I just don't get it. It's only one weekend. Hair dryer, towels, spare hair dryer, special cane. She definitely doesn't need this. OK, so it's 99% fat free. She looks great anyway. And if she's really trying to keep in shape, shouldn't she be carrying the bags? Kellogg's Special K feels special. Introducing a toilet paper unlike any you've ever felt before. <coughs> New Charmin Ultra. Other brands might be smooth. New Charmin Ultra's unique micro pockets mean it's the most absorbent paper and stays stronger when wet. Giving you a comfortable, clean feeling mm. every time. Morning. Nothing beats the comfortable, clean feeling of New Charmin Ultra. Loves nothing more than the crayfish party. And to catch the biggest crayfish, you need a really juicy bait. But that's a real man's job, which leaves us to enjoy the vodka. <laughs> Björn! Let the bait wiggle and be quick. And then, drips. <laughs> <laughs> British gas is shaking up the energy market. Soon there'll be no standing charges and a new pricing structure for all our domestic mains gas and electricity customers. So quite simply, if you use nothing, you pay nothing. British gas. The big shake-up has started. But we had an arrangement over that flat. Well, you guaranteed it. Yes, yes, I do know they can take it off the market, but we had a deal. No, I don't want details of other flats. You can stick them, all right? 
Oh dear. Not bad news, I hope. No. Nothing for you to worry about. So how did it go with the doctor? High blood pressure. Which means she needs as little stress as possible. Well, perhaps she should see a specialist. I can make an appointment. Oh, there's no need. Well, just to be on the safe side. He said it's not uncommon in pregnancy. He also said you needed to rest. Well, is there anything, uh, anything else you need? Like what? No, I don't know. Uh, magazines and things, you know. Well, I can get them if she does. Well, you could always move the telly a bit for me. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll give you a hand. Uh, just round to the left of it. No, 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 that's too far right. No, no. No, the reflection of the... Perfect. I thought that one was mine. It is. You know I don't like carrots. We'll just leave them, then. You're right. Of course, why? You don't seem quite with it, that's all. No, I'm fine. Oh, I forgot your dad phoned earlier. What did he want? Just said, could you call him back? I'll do it later. So, sort of your love life out, then? Mm, hardly. What was that all about yesterday? I thought it was going to be pistols at dawn. It ended up with a date with Benji. Don't sound so excited about it. Mm, I bored out my skull with him already. Well, think yourself lucky. I can't remember the last time I went on a date with anybody. <laughs> Here you go, folks. Just start. Don't wait for us. Perhaps next week, Dad will be able to come and have dinner with us. I doubt it. Duke? Sarah? What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Mm. Anything you need, you just ask, OK? No overdoing it. Whatever you say. Here's the uh, ticket for the dry cleaning. Are you sure you don't mind doing that for me tomorrow? I could probably manage it myself. No, no, you stay right where you are, yeah? Yeah, and I'll get a load of food in so you won't have to go out. Thanks. I'm at the pub tonight, but I'll do your meal before I go. Not exactly master chef material, are you? There's nothing wrong with my cooking. Yeah, well, better safe than sorry. I'll pick you up some food from that organic restaurant in Randy Road, yeah? It's been so nice having both of you look after me. And you're not arguing. Well, that's what we're here for. We just want you to take it easy. Yeah, but I might be like this for weeks now. Don't you see me complaining? Or him? Actually, I do feel very tired all of a sudden. Don't mind if I have a little sleep, do you? No, no, you should. I'll get you a hot drink before I go. That'd be nice. Are you going to tell me what the matter is? You've been on another planet all afternoon. I'm just worried about Adrian, how he's going to cope. I thought he had some job in On another planet all afternoon.